Hey guys, NS Productions 8104 here, and uh, today we're going to do a little bit of a layout update. It's been a while. So, um, it's now officially 2021. 2020 is officially over, thank God. Um, as we all know, this year was pretty god-awful. So, let's start with the layout. Um, just bought some of this paper snow and put a couple... Put it around in some way so the layout make it a nice look winterized. It's good. It's a nice temporary. I can just take a vacuum and clean it up. Got my little. You see, it's just a nice little that nice paper snow. You can buy it like dollar at the dollar stores or Walmart. Um, place a couple of switches. Oh, I did add in the switch right over here. Connect into that siding, so now uh, I can have a train pull in, park it. I have another train running on the uh, main two here. As you guys know, this is main one, main two. And that's about it for the layout. Work and the holidays have been pretty much taking up my time. Uh, a couple of... Well, here's a couple. Here's a couple locomotives I've drawn that I finished up for the last month or so. Uh, this is a this is the New York Central SD70 ACE Heritage Unit number uh, 1066. It's this beautiful thing. This, which I have a model of this coming in very very soon, is a CSX ES44AH number nine uh, nine eleven. This is the uh, CSX Pride and Service First Responders Unit. Um, I have this coming in on the 7th. Today is Sunday, January 3rd. I'll be getting this on the 7th, so Thursday of this week. So next week you guys should see an unboxing video and a review of my uh, Scale Trains ES44s. So I got drew this guy hung it up and drew this guy and hung it up. That's about it. Uh, I put a DCC decoder in this. As you guys know, this is my Proto 2000. Uh, Toy for Berkshire for the Nickel Plate Road. I installed a Digitrax 8-pin decoder in that. I also installed a decoder in my 611 over there. That's my uh, Bachman Spectrum 611 right there. I installed a decoder... And this guy. This is an Atherin ready to, uh, This is an Atherin blue box. Uh, AC4400. CW. Uh, this decoder was hardwired in. I did that engine. Did it to this SD40. And I did it to my other SD40. So now I have some Warnell Folk Southern Power with DCC. Um, I eventually want to get... All these guys painted up. Um, next decoder got installed is going to be on these two. Get those guys done. Um, and then the time after that, these are my babies. These are a work in progress right now. These are the custom uh, S7. Is it an F7 or is it an F9? I think it's an F9A. The A units are F9s and the B units are uh, F7s. I might be getting that mixed up. Uh, tell me in the comment section below, guys. It's late at night. It's, almost, it's 12.30 at night. Um, yeah, so anyway, these are my custom. Uh, these are I'm working on them, but they're uh, custom painted. Uh, no folks on office car special. Locomotives. I'm going to get them. I'm gonna get them decaled and all that. These are all uh, Bachman Plus. See, these are on Bachman Plus frames. This guy has LED headlights. Uh, headlights and ditch lights have been wired up in this dude. So I got both. I got the working headlight and ditch lights in this guy. So that's cool. Both of these are powered. I want to get a couple more of these, or if I want, maybe I'll keep those and buy a, buy the Walters ones. Don't know yet. Um, one thing I've done is this. This is a Revell 148 scale 
A10A Thunderbolt 2, also known as the Warthog. Uh, this guy was a kit, so I put him together. Let's see. We got those two big silver things, or two. Those, I think, are napalm. Yeah, those are napalm bombs. The big thing in the middle is a fuel tank. The green are regular cluster bombs. The white missiles are Maverick missiles, air-to-ground missiles. And then you got your jamming pot on the end here. So Nice aircraft. I love it. it. Took me a while. It looks good. Sits there next to the Titanic. Behind the Titanic, we got the... And the far back is the USS Iowa, and the front is the USS Missouri. Both the uh, Iowa class battleships. I'm working on another A10. This one is made by Academy. This is a 172nd scale. It's a tinier one. But this one's in flight mode. This one's right before takeoff. It's armed up and ready to go. It's just dropped the canopy. And it's basically ready for takeoff. This guy's going to be an in-flight model. So, that's about it. I think we'll set you up somewhere and we'll run the trains for a minute. Um, and I will be giving a shout out to a channel at the end. I do not do this very often. I do it to channels that I think are good and that other people should go recognize. This is just personal opinion. They don't ask me to do this. I do this on my own. If I like a channel and I think it's going to be helpful for the model, other model train enthusiasts out there, I will give them a shout out. So I will not just, if you ask for a shout out, you're not going to get one. I'm just going to that. So we'll set up here. So right now on track two, we have my, well, if it would stay connected, I have my uh, Proto 2000 Berkshire holding a small freight. This this might seem big to most people, but this is small. This train can probably hold about 30 to 40 cars. It's insane. This thing can pull an insane amount, even up a grade. So, yeah. Hold that one. Right, bye, bye. I am not turning the sound on on my DCC train. So here it comes, quietly. So, for people who haven't watched my videos, our lead locomotive is an Athern Genesis SD70. It's the standard cab SD70. It's their latest run with the LED headlights. Uh, the second locomotive is one of my heritage units. This is a Athern Genesis SD60E with LED headlights. Uh, I bought both of them. I bought brand new from Scale Trains, not Scale Trains, uh, Train World. If you guys are looking for a good model train online retailer, check out Train World. They're great. I love them. I want to watch these guys go around a couple times. Uh, when I put DCC in the Berkshire, I also upgraded the headlight to an LED. So uh, here comes one of my newest freight car purchases right here. It's a uh, Walters Mainline uh, rebuilt 40-foot TTX well car. I bought the two containers to go in it. Um, so we'll watch the trains come around one more time and then we'll uh, that'll be the end of the video it's going to be a short one today Alrighty, let's try this again. Don't you love having coupler issues? Ah. Gotta love having pretty crappy couplers sometimes. Gotta love them. So 
go watch the NS train go by. Okay, manifest. If it will stay connected. Buy some coppers. Well, I guess some new ones. Oh my god. Okay. Attempt number two thousand. God. I'm sick of this thing. All right, here we go. We'll watch the train go across the custom-made crossing, and uh, we'll call it a wrap for the night. Oh, you gotta love freaking underweight rolling stock. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna call it a wrap. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to add in weight to that guy. Uh, this is, uh, if there's any new model, model railroaders out there, uh, this is why if your car is light, this is the prime reason why you add weight. So you do not have these kind of issues. And what the hell is going on here? I am, ho 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 seriously, is my switch jammed open? I swear to God. I got ballast rock in it. I got rock in it. Damn it. Okay, uh, this is a lesson for any new model railroad out there. Um, be careful when you ballast, because uh, if it gets in your frog points, it will freaking screw everything up. There. Gosh. Alrighty. Oh my god. Lee, man, I have never had this much problems before. I am so ready to tear this freaking layout apart. I'm done with this thing. I've learned a lot with my first layout, so here. Attempt another. I don't care, it's too many now. I just want to go to bed. Alright. Alrighty guys, so thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, here's a shout out. Go check out Gopin Opera's trains uh, out there on YouTube. He's your number one guy for Riz Rossi. Uh, there's several videos out there on how to um, how to service River Rossi locomotives. Uh, he's done a couple rebuilds. Check out his live streams. They're they're very good. Um, so, go check out his channel. It's Gopin' Up Restraints. If I can, I'm going to drop a link in the video description below. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, everybody have a great 
start to 2021 and uh, we'll see you on the next one.